Welcome to All in Danger. I am your technical trader. Today we're taking a look at the XRP chart. Now today I wanted to just take a look from a technical perspective and tell you exactly what I'm seeing. And that way you can decide if what you're seeing is bullish or bearish. So far we know that the B word is going on right now. So there will be some volatility like you all know during this event. XRP should get affected a little by this but putting that aside let's just take a look at the technicals like you can see we had a hard sell-off into the 80 cent level before we saw some consolidation and a breakdown until we finally found the bottom here at the 50 cent level and over the last month we've been consolidating and selling off right the supports that i have here on the chart is up here we have 80 we have here at 64 unfortunately we broke below that now we're battling what we can clearly see is a double bottom this double bottom is giving me hope if it holds right it needs to hold this level this blue line down here at 50 cents almost 51 cents and then break this green line we peaked above this morning consolidated and is now holding underneath it it cannot close underneath here if it does then i will not be as bullish if this bottom breaks i can see us falling down to this green box support level um to see if that will hold if that holds we might see a quick bounce so what i see now is if this thing holds and we close above this line, we'll see some sort of a move up to these now resistance levels, some sort of consolidation area here, and then hopefully a breakup. Now, if zooming in on the one hour, we can see that we have broken up and we are kind of exactly at this level that we need to hold. Like we need to bounce from here or consolidation. It can do this for a while, but it needs to get out of there fast. If not, we can expect some sort of a breakdown and a retest here somewhere, break down to these levels before going up. What we are battling at the moment is this 200 moving average on the one hour and this downtrend. The downtrend short term is broken which is looking good, but can also just be short-term volatility because of the B word that is happening. If we take a look at the total altcoin market cap, you can see that it's doing the same thing. It broke a downtrend and is now backtesting or being staying on this downtrend to see if it can turn this resistance into support and change its trend. Then again, if it is changing to a trend, we will see some sort of a bounce out of here might be a little crooked and then some sort of an explosion up if that happens we will see the rest of the market follow from there the next resistance will be this level we might see a bounce back or some sort of consolidation before breakup now when it comes to the altcoin market we have a big consolidation area here it almost looks like a bull flag if we do see a break of this today i do expect us seeing this level up here get tested if we break through it we're going to move all the way up here this level that will get tested and then here comes the big one if we somehow manage to make it through this level we'll see new highs right if we don't break here i do expect this to go down to this red line that we have down here and test it this will be the last defense for this market if this market breaks here then i believe that we are no longer in a bull market and we're starting a bear market ah! hopefully that's not the case i know that there's a lot of people out there that are holding a lot of cryptocurrencies me included and we don't want this to be over yet especially when we haven't sold our bags yet my personal opinion is that there is hope i am fully bullish on this market 
I'm not going to sell anything at these levels. I do expect there to be some sort of a bounce. I just don't know how high it'll be. I have my target set. I'll do a different video for that if there is any demand for that. As of now, all we can do is wait and see what happens here. Again, we'll see if this green line can hold and we bounce up or if we break down and continue falling. Hopefully, it'll make a decision by tomorrow. If not, there'll be a couple more days in this boring consolidating sell-off period. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more of this type of content. I'm all in danger.